Today is Monday, 6th of December, 2021, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our topic for today is, Be Inspired by His Hope. Our theme scripture is taken from Romans 5, verse 5, and it says, And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Hallelujah. The Bible shows us that hope is one of the principles that will exist in the world to come. Pastor begins. Hope is the ability to expect and to project into the future. Jesus demonstrated hope in his beautiful and inspiring prayer in John chapter 17 as he committed his disciples into the Father's hands. He said in John 17, 20, Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also, we shall believe on me through their word. Oh, glory to God. It's amazing how Jesus trusted the Father with his hopes for the future of his disciples and those who would believe in him through their witness. He not only had faith, but hope as well. He looked to the Father with hope. What an inspiration. There's another instance where he demonstrated such great hope. That was when he prayed with great anguish and agony of soul in the Garden of Gethsemane, such that sweat came out of his body like great drops of blood. But I want you to notice the content of his prayers. The Bible says he prayed, Oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. That we can find in Matthew 26, verse 39. Glory to God. Jesus was a man of faith, but in this context, he was hopeful, Pastor says. He endured the cross because of the outcome of his hope. He demonstrated hope while he hung on the cross, hope even in death. This is the Christ that Paul referred to when he announced, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. As we find in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. Hallelujah. Now, Pastor says, you are in him and can therefore be hopeful in the Father as he was, even in the face of death. Can you be hopeful in prayer that those who openly oppose Christ can truly believe and turn their hearts to him like Saul of Tarsus and receive salvation for their souls by the power of the Holy Ghost? Learn the value of hope. The word declares that hope doesn't disappoint because of God's love in our hearts as we find in Romans 5 verse 5. So, Pastor says in conclusion, be inspired by his hope. That hope, the Bible says, is an anchor for the soul. That by two immutable things, in which it was impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us. Which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast. That we can find in Hebrews 6. 18 to 19. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your word to us today. Okay, let's take a prayer now, meaning it to the whole of our hearts. Please say after me, Dear Father, through your word, I'm hopeful that my victories, triumphs, and accomplishments are abiding. I pray for souls around the world that great grace be directed toward them and that the work of salvation be wrought in their lives as they hear the gospel to the praise and glory of your name. Hallelujah. Okay, for further study, Please read Romans 4 verse 18 
Hebrews 6, 19 of the Amplified Classic, and Psalm 71, verse 14. Something remarkable here. Pastor said, Jesus looked to the Father with hope, even in death. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in Him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God.